Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a mathematical model of a 3D object. So for this, we are going to use GeoGebra application. And uh, let me click on this plus sign. So, you know, it's an input cell, but we can also uh, input expression, text or image. So if you click on image and let me browse, I have a nice uh, viz downloaded already on my desktop. Okay, let me use this one. So let me click on open. So now we have this nice space on my uh, home page. So let me actually move these points A and B. As you can see here, if we move them, I can, or I can uh, change the orientation of the picture. So let me make it like this because I want the x-axis to be the axis of rotation. So now, the picture is here, it's lying down on the x-axis nicely. Let me right click on this picture, go to setting. And if we check this uh, box, then it's going to make the picture as a background image. So now it's fixed here and it will not be moved. Close this and now we're gonna add some points on the surface of the, uh, of the picture here. So let me click here, then here, and then here. So we have this set of uh, points that we have labeled manually. Now I'm going to use a mathematical model. So generally when we have a smooth functions, smooth curves, we use polynomials. So we're going to use fit, polynomial fit. So the command for this is fit and poly. So you should remember this command fit poly. And we're going to choose this one. So fit poly list of points, sorry, this one. Uh, yeah, fit poly list of points and degree of polynomial. So you see, you know, the, the polynomials, they may have multiple degrees, one, two, three, and so on. So let's select this one. So for the list of points, since we have multiple points, I'm gonna use the curly brackets and I'm gonna write here C. And these are the points, C, D, E, F, and G, and H, sorry. I and J and K. So these are these are the points. And now let me click, uh, press the right key. And next is the degree of polynomial. Mm -hmm. For this, you know, I don't know what would be the best uh, degree of the polynomial that is going to fit these points. So let me simply type here N. So the GeoGebra is going to create a slider of the for the N. Now, as you can see here, n starts from 1 and it goes from minus 5 to plus 5. Uh, since the degree of polynomial should be uh, an integer, let me click on this guy and make it 1. So it starts from 1 and then it goes to, let's say, 20 and uh, with the step of 1. So let me press enter now. Now, if I just, you, know, you see, like now we have this picture. Let me centralize. Yeah. It's a straight line because the degree of polynomial is one. So we have a straight line. Of course, that's not a good fit. Let me increase the degree of polynomial. Now it's a second degree of polynomial, parabola, cubic equation, which is nice enough. And uh, yeah, and then quartic. Okay. So you have to decide which one is the best. I think the cubic is also fine. But, uh, yeah, I think n equals, n equals 5 is a nice option. Even 6 is fine. Okay, yeah, let's make it n equals 6. So it's a 6 degree polynomial that is that has made these uh, points uh, like uh, it was nicely uh, fitted with for this uh, these points. Okay, now we have this uh, polynomial function. So as you can see here, the equation is also given to you here. Negative 0 0.01, x to the power 6, and so on. Next, we need to actually find out only this portion. So starting from C to, to K, we don't want, you know, the, the curve that is going beyond K or before C. So for this, I'm going to define a new function. So let me write here function. So a new function. So, so the, the new function is defined on the function F with the starting X value and the ending X value. So let me click here and our function is F that we have defined here is a fit function. So our starting point is going to be the x coordinate of, sorry, of this of the point C. 
this is actually how we write x then bracket c our n value is actually the x coordinate of k point so if i press enter now i have this function a new function g uh, which is defined only for the points for, from point c to point k so actually if i simply turn this off if i click on this box you see now the I, I can only see this blue line, which is quite nicely uh, lying on the edges of the edge of the base. All right, so now let's, in the next step, let's try to rotate uh, this curve. So I can use a function called rotate. So rotate and then object angle point. I'm gonna choose this one. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna choose this one, object angle and axis of rotation. So our object is, uh, is the function g that we have defined a while ago and angle is going to be from 0 to 360 and uh, the axis of rotation is going to be x-axis so let me click here our object is g and the angle is is going to be from 0 to 360 that means i need to create a slide so let me simply call it k so i think it will automatically create the slide for the k and our axis of rotation is x axis so that's how, that's how we write it x and then with capital a axis we click enter so if i simply move this guy from 0 to 360 this the blue curve actually is rotating uh the thing is that we don't we cannot see it because this is a plane and it's showing you on, on only on 2d but the this blue curve is rotating in 3d so for this, actually, let me go to this uh, menu button here and uh, view. So if I, if I go to 3D graphics, yep, here. Uh, now I have actually, this now. so I have another window and this window actually showing you also. Sorry. Uh, let me do this point here, yep. Uh, this this window actually showing you the graph in 3D. So if I now rotate, actually, the K starting from one degree, you see the surface is, is uh, rotating here. Did you notice here? Okay, that's nice. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, actually, uh, let's also try to define a surface uh, out of this rotating curve. So if we simply type here surface, so we get a command surface here. And this time we're gonna use the second one, surface, curve, angle, and line. So the curve actually is this curve that we have defined, the is our G, uh, like this, this G of X. Angle, of course, is going to be again from zero to 360 and the line is going to be x-axis. So let me click here. Surface is g and the angle is k because we have already defined k as the angle. Uh, our line actually, the line of rotation is x, sorry, is x-axis. Okay, nice. So actually, if you know, if you now see here, if I start from zero, even if I play, click on this play button, you can see this nice animation where the curve is rotating on the x-axis and you can also see the nice uh, surface out of this curve. Okay, so this is how you can make the, uh, do the mathematical modeling, modeling of a 3D object. So you can also see it here, 3D, and that looks quite nice. You can change the property of, and the colors if you simply click on the right click and choose the setting and uh, so on. Yep. Uh, and lastly, as extra information, if you want to find the volume of uh, this surface, you know, the volume under, under of the, of when the curve is rotated around the x-axis. So the, for the volume, you know, you know the formula is pi y squared dx, and then you have to integrate. So if I click here, sorry. So yeah, let me write here integral. So integral and uh, the function start x value and end x value. Our function is g, g of x. 
our start x value is the x coordinate of the point C and end value is x coordinate of point K. So let me click here. So G, our, oh, by the way, our function is G, but uh, to find the volume, uh, you have to use the formula pi y squared. So y, y is G. So let me write here pi actually is 3.14 and times G squared, which is, our, which is the y function. So G squared and then the x value, the starting x value is the x coordinate in C. And the uh, end value is the x coordinate of point K. Now, if you press enter, we have this. So, 15.04 unit cube is the volume of the surface. So, you can also use this formula to find the volume of revolution. So, I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. So, take care of yourself. We'll see you next time.